newspaper. That will quickly fail rod ignite if it's not too wet. It is, it's wet. But still, it's not so wet that it won't dry out in just a just an hour or so sitting out in the sun, so we'll stick this down in our pocket. Now, pieces of limbs that are this degraded, that are rotten enough to break off and fall off the tree, you can check the ends for punky wood. Sometimes there's punky wood on the sides, and there is on this one. Punk wood is spongy. It'll spring in. Let's get you in the sun. I don't know if you can see that. And spring right back out. So this lighter section of wood right here is all punky. I'm going to stick my pocket knife in there and try to gouge out some good punk. All right, this is termite damaged wood, but it'll still work just like punk wood. They tell me that punk wood is actually the dry rot fungus that's at work in the wood. But in my experience, this uh, termite damaged wood will work. Let me pull that out of there. So that's a good find there. Very easily solar ignites. Let's see what else we can find. Bamboo is something that burns very well also. And normally I would pick this up if I wasn't out here exercising and walking. But bamboo has sort of an oil in it. And it ignites and, and burns very easily and it burns intensely. It almost sounds like a rocket stove burning. It makes that much noise because it's burning so furiously in the hobo stove anyways. So, bamboo would be great for some tinder. Right, here's a good example of fat wood just waiting for somebody to come by and pick it up. You see that rotted away pine log right there? Like I mentioned in another video, there's those shark fin pieces of fat wood that's not gonna rot away at the same rate. Waiting for somebody to just come pick them up. Waiting for somebody to come along and just break them off. There's good fat wood in that one. And this core. And this core right here. It's fat wood. Let's take them to the house and try them out. This is what fascinates me. That core of fat wood. I'm gonna take the saw and cut this end off and see if that core of fat wood shows on this end. Same thing with this one. You know that core runs all the way down through there. So I'll cut that off flush and see. And you see how diffused the sun is? All of those clouds in the sky. I know the screen goes dark when you try to show the sun, but that's the sun right there. Let me show you what a good job that makeup mirror does. It's either seven or eight power. It's a concave mirror and it really concentrates the photons. Let's ignite some of this punk wood we gathered this morning and we'll use the newspaper for the tinder bundle.
Here's a piece of punk wood that feels like it's dry enough. Let's see if it'll stay ignited. That's staying ignited down there. Now, if that's dry enough, that'll stay ignited without me having to aerate it. We're good. Let's go ahead and ignite the newspaper tinder bundle. Finally, let's go ahead and try it again. We can do better than that. Let's cut this end off right here and see what it looks like. Yep, there it is. So that cylinder goes all the way through. You can tell by the shape of this, can't you? Let's go ahead and chop off all this excess. All right, now we know what can be in these sharp, thin shaped pieces of fat wood. This right here.
All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.